All right, guys, welcome to episode 55 of the Digital Barbell Podcast. Thank you for being here. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll notice we have a different episode in store for you today. If you're not watching this on YouTube, you can pull your car over, pull out your phone, and just sit there for a while and watch the video version if you want. But we've got a different kind of episode today. So if you notice, we're all sitting behind a table. There's myself, there's Blakely, and then my sister Sally is sitting to my right. She's in the country visiting us, and she's going to partake in this special episode. So what we're going to do today, we're going to be calling Gimmick or Good. And the idea behind this concept is we've each picked out three things in the grocery store that we looked at the labels, we decided, hey, this might be a healthy snack, this might be a good option for us based on what I'm reading on the label. And we're gonna, we're gonna look at what a serving is, we're gonna look at the nutrition, and maybe most importantly of all, we're gonna taste them and see if they're any good. <laughs> so we'll do our best to be descriptive with what we're doing here since some of you might just be listening to this, but definitely check out the video also when you have time. So I guess we don't have a sponsor for this episode because we were really the sponsor. We went to the store and we bought all we this go. stuff. I like it. Yeah. Sally, you want to introduce Sorry. yourself real quick? Sure. Um, I am Sally. I'm Jonathan's wonderful only <laughs> sibling, um, uh, older sibling. I've lived in Hong Kong for the last uh, eight years and uh, have enjoyed being an elementary school counselor there and watched my brother's business uh, in Blakely just thrive and yeah, I came back as I normally would come back in the summer um, every year and visit with them, but it's been two years because of Corona. Uh, so it's been great to see them. We went to the grocery store pretty soon after I got here to Wimberley, Texas. And as usual, but even more because it's been two years, I'm just overwhelmed with the choices here compared to Hong Kong in the grocery store and looking through things and thinking, I need to lose some weight. I need to get healthier. And then I'm looking at these options and there's just, you know, where we'd have in Hong Kong, maybe six cereal choices. There's like 200 cereal choices. So I'm looking <laughs> at boxes and, and thinking, what would you pick to, you know, try and maintain or toward, get towards health right, right. when you have it's a confusing. gajillion, yeah, a gajillion options with different <laughs> words on them yeah, and, and cool pictures. That's right. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to kick this off and just go down the line and look at what a serving is, talk about them and taste them. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead off and right. I think we should start with this drink because oh. it's cold and I don't want us to get sick if we try drinking it in an hour. But what I've got here in my hand is a pre-made breakfast smoothie from Bolt House Farms, which we love their yogurt-based salad dressings. They may have even sponsored a podcast. I can't even remember anymore. Yeah, but we spend, a lot of, we spend a lot of money with Bolt House, so I thought I would um, give their breakfast smoothie a try. I see here on the label, and this is what attracted me to it, that it's got 11 grams of protein and it's got 21 vitamins and minerals per bottle. It's a fruit and yogurt plus whole grain smoothie so it's got all kinds of buzzwords grains it's got some grains it's got some grains in here too it says a blend of apple juice from concentrate and strawberry juice not from concentrate with added ingredients uh yeah and the the uh, list of ingredients is quite impressive um there's a lot of things on here i can't pronounce but i, I do see some some fruit and whatnot in there also so um I'm gonna pour us each a is little a bit. Is a serving a whole bottle or a how many is servings? A whole bottle. Because I know okay. I noticed as I was looking at it, it's a hefty calorie content. Yeah, it's it's a 15.2 ounces, so you know a Coke is 12 ounces, so it's a pretty good serving. It was something lumpy just poured out of there oh, as goodness. I was pouring it. I'm gonna pass that 380 down. 380 calories for this whole thing. Okay. So they're calling it a breakfast smoothie, which tells me it's supposed to be a replacement. For sounds breakfast. gross. Uh, each time you guys pour it, I hear, of, I hear something lumpy. There's a lot of lumps coming okay. out as you're pouring wants extra. That. There you go. Yeah. You always wonder about yogurt too. When you're turning yogurt into something you got to drink without a spoon. Yeah. Like how does that even happen? Okay. Yeah. So I all guess. Right. Cheers, I'll guys. Go first, are we going to do it all at the same time? Ding. Sure. <laughs> Here we go. All right. My first impression is it's way more bitter than I was expecting, but I guess that's mm -hmm. because it has yogurt in it, kind of mm -hmm. drying my mouth out. I'm getting the fruit flavor, though. It's really not as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, yeah, the, there's... the flavor is light. It's not super overpowering, but it's not bad. 
Yeah, it's like I get a bitter at the very beginning. Then it's like, oh, it's kind of sweet and tasty. I taste the fruit. Yeah. And then what Jonathan's describing, there's an overall dry tongue feeling that makes you be like, I think I need to have another sip because I got to get rid of this dry <laughs> tongue feeling. Yeah. They That's so to, true. I want you to finish it. All right, so let's dig into the nutrition just a little bit here. So like they mentioned, 380 calories per bottle. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. That really is what I would consider a meal substitute. If you're drinking this on top of your breakfast, then you are for sure overeating calories in that meal, unless that's your breakfast and your lunch. So remember I said it touts 11 grams of protein. Uh, That's not much. That's about the equivalent of two eggs. Mm -hmm. When you can eat a lot, you can two eggs don't have nearly 380 (laughs) calories in them. So I would not consider this a high protein food at all. Certainly not a substitute for how much protein you should get in a meal. Mm -hmm. And then here's the Whopper. 72 grams of carbohydrates in this one bottle. 72? 72. And a Snickers bar has about how many? Uh, Probably less than half of that. Woo! I mean, we're not recommending Snickers for breakfast. (laughs) No, no, no. But I'm just thinking that's a lot of carbs. It's a lot of carbs. So 47 grams of sugar and... I'm not too surprised Mm. about that since it contains a lot of fruit, but the thing that stands out to me, it has 29 grams of added sugar. Mm. So out of those 47 grams of sugar, 27 were just poured in, in the form of sugar, which really will just lead to you being hungry pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Added sugar is not very filling and carbohydrates from added sugar just don't have any nutritional value as far as vitamins and minerals. It's got five grams of fat, which I assume is from the yogurt and, um, you know, like I said, they brag that they have added four grams, four grams of whole grains per eight ounce serving. So there's eight grams of whole grains in here. I feel but like really, this who is going to sit heavy. Yeah, you <laughs> like probably if you drink like the you, whole thing. You feel like you swallowed a brick probably if yeah. you drink this whole thing. So um, all in all, I'm going to say if you're looking at this as a meal replacement, it's a poor option because it's not a very balanced yeah. meal and lots of sugar, lots of added sugar. I'm calling this one a gimmick. Gimmick. Agreed. Everybody yeah. agree? Yep. Gimmick. Gimmick. Skip it. Skip it. Sorry, Bolt House. There's a fail. But you love your Bolt House, Blakely. S- stick with the <laughs> yogurt dressing. We'll stick with the dressing. Okay. All right, Sally, you're up. What are you going to open? Um, I think I will go with this lovely packaged bar. What do you got there? This is called a Alani Fit Snack Protein Bar, or... Fit snacks, it's actually plural, although this looks like it would be one snack. (laughs) Um, But maybe that's partly due, I don't know why there's, we'll see what's going on So what drew you to that package? Okay, yes, the package that we're looking at, it's um, lots of pastel-y colors, light pink and purple. I mean, it's light colors, so I'm guessing maybe this light food (laughs) is going to be healthy. Uh, it's pretty. I like pretty things. Um, this is a blueberry muffin. My brother and I both enjoy muffins and bacon <laughs> growing up. So this is, um, it's got yeah, the and, and, and it has a fit. And also, you know, Jonathan and Blakely talk about eating proteins, making sure I get more protein. And this is a protein bar. All right. Um, 16 grams of protein, which... Listening to your podcast, I should know if that's good or not. I can't <laughs> right now, not so sure. Do you let's, wanna... let's see what it tastes yeah, like. Okay, let's see. I know the wrapper is loud. Are you gonna try this? Yeah, we'll break okay. off a piece. Woo, man! That this kind of looks looking. like a cronut or something. It's got lots of blue um, <laughs> it out the, it, color. The bar matches the package. Yeah, it is. I will say that the package. I should hold the package up too. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looks like it's iced. Yeah, it looks mm-hmm. like a lot of icing on there. A lot of icing, and it's about... You're um, making a big mess with that thing, too. I know. How many inches would you say this, this <laughs> is? Like Four and inches. a half. <laughs> I would, I'm just looking at the list of ingredients. It might be close to 40 things in there, wow. which is a huge That's, list of ingredients. Like, huge the, list of ingredients. Yeah. the Bolt House okay, drink so, a run So for, for one bar, we've got 170 calories. It's a mess maker. That's what it is. We've got six fat... We've got 17 carbs and 16 protein. Thank you. All right, go for it, Sally. You how many? Try two, right? Go ahead. How many calories was it? Yeah, it's 170 calories. calories. That's not Total? very. That's mm-hmm. not very high. Okay, I'm excited because it looks like it has icing on it. That's we'll actually. get on with it. Yeah. 
Initial impressions? It was dry. Yeah. <laughs> the icing is not helping. The fact that I'm gonna have to chew this sucker so, a lot longer mm. than I'd hope for, hope to to swallow it. Not I'm having good. I'm having good. flashbacks to um, the protein bar challenge that we did. There's some really bad. Got a lot of allergen like, information on it. It I don't tastes like, that. like I'm eating fake food. Yeah, yeah, it tastes very chemically. I mean, it's very, got tons of stuff. Yeah, that's very word. very chemically. Yeah, I don't want to eat another bite. One, one thing I'm also that. so again, mm. 17 grams of carbs. We're washing that down with some wine. 16 <laughs> grams of protein. <laughs> And six grams of fat, and they've boosted up the protein content with uh, with whey protein isolate and con- and uh, concentrate. It's also got five added grams of fiber, which makes me suspicious that they've subtracted those calories from the fiber out of the mm-hmm. carb content before they calculated the calories. So, so what do you say, Sally? Oh, I mean, is this a gimmick or is this a good one? This this is definitely a gimmick. That cute packaging still wouldn't have me buy that product again. All right, so if you see a Lonnie Fit Snacks protein bar on the shelf, skip it. That was gross. Yeah. That was really gross. Get definitely. out of my life. All right, we're sticking with the breakfast theme here. I've got these Sargento, which is, I think, a cheese company primarily, balanced breaks. So I guess the idea of this is to have a little snack between meals. Um, there are three prepackaged um containers per oh. package and these were found in the uh, refrigerated aisle by the cheese let's oh, pass man. them out what this uh what? Is, i'm excited for this yeah. i love me some cheese hong kong we don't have such a che- cheese selection so in this package we've got a pepper jack cheese we've got some honey roasted peanuts and we've got some raisins so i naturally would think there's a good balance of some protein quite a bit of fat no, seeing that there's cheese and, and peanuts and then some raisins for some carbs so what, um, what made you choose this one looking at the label uh just because it says it's a balanced break that it like you know people look for like a i want a snack that's like kind of equal parts like protein carbs and fat Mm -hmm. so the part the packaging tells you that's what it's going to be um looking at it it's 170 calories 12 fat 11 carbs seven protein that doesn't sound very balanced (laughs) that sounds like it's heavy on fat it's pretty heavy on the fat (laughs) light on the protein exactly um well let's let's see what let's let's see see, let's see what we got in here so man i feel like i'm opening a lunchable here i know definitely going back to lunchable days here it kind of looks like sad airline food to be honest it really does i really feel like you'd get this at an airline or like if you're at like a conference or something and (laughs) and and this is what they had to give you a snack for which you know wouldn't be the worst thing in the world but it's it's not going to be your best choice if you have a lot of options out there it's certainly more balanced than like a croissant or something it's like already that. more appealing than that protein <laughs> yeah. bar I'm gonna be yeah honest. i would take the this. slime bar so make sure you get like yeah. a little bit of cheese a little bit of raisin eat it together and balanced a bit of in nut. our mouth yeah for sure i would I mean, say the honey, okay. nut, the honey nut peanuts are honey roasted peanuts honey nut, i'm yeah. putting them all once pretty pretty good in my mouth pepper jack i mean spicy right yeah i mean obviously the flavors are there it looks like it's real food it's real cheese it's real peanuts it's real raisins you know the funny thing about this is Ooh, something spicy. Pepper jack. The pepper pepper jack. jack. Mm-hmm. This is a good example of a processed food that is purposely made to make you want to eat more of it. Because mm-hmm. that combination of savory from the cheese Rains. plus the sweetness from the raisins and the saltiness of the peanuts. And the the, mm-hmm. the peanuts and are the also sweetness of the peanuts. The peanuts Very. are like honey roasted. Like this is airline food that you're just like There's let me a, get yeah. my finger in that little bag and get yeah. every yeah <laughs> and, tons and of this, flavor. And this portion is so small for 170 calories. You said yeah, like 170 this, total. Mm-hmm. This okay. is not going to fill you up for very long. And if you like were at home and you had these three in the fridge. I would oh, be willing name? to bet most people are well, going to eat more than one of I these. I think packs. That, that's that's what I was going to say is the benefit of shoo, of getting this balanced break because it is pre-portioned out for you. So if that's you true. if you just grab this, take it to work, then you're not going to have like a whole bag of peanuts to deal with and be like, oh, I'm only supposed to eat this many. Yeah. So I would say like the it's not ba- it's not balanced like they say, but it is a good portion control. So it's not the worst snack in the world. I mean. It's it's yeah. real foods. It does so have a lot real. of um, <clears throat> a lot of flavorings on it, but uh-huh. it's yeah. um, sounds it's, like you're, you guys are calling this good. I would say this is a good option. I think it, I, out of what we've had so far, <laughs> that by far is like a good option. I think I you know again I don't know if I would stay full very long, yeah. but I do think that it being that portion controlled, mm-hmm. and again I'm a huge variety person, so I like that the fact that I got like kind of three snacks. 
Yeah. In one to different flavors. All right. We're, right. Ca- we're calling Sargento Balance Breaks a good well, option. I'm, I'm going to go against the grain and call this a okay. gimmick because, you know, <laughs> the, I've, the word balance. As the nutrition coach, I see that these kind of snacks generally hold, hold people back from eating enough protein and from overeating calories. Mm. This is a good example of a fake high protein food fake that when you actually thing. dig into the nutrition information, you're eating a lot more fat than okay. you are protein. So I'm calling this a gimmick, <laughs> Unless you're on but I airplane. do like the idea that it's portion controlled <laughs> for sure. All right, you're up. All right. We are going to look at these. <clears throat> we have in front of me Quest brand tortilla style protein chips in a single serving bag. Right. And these are chili lime flavor. Um, mm, these, lime. these caught my eye. I've never had this flavor before. And I like the fact that um, it says protein chip on the label. That's what caught my eye. And it's got some seasoning to it, which also made it sound good. Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. why I grabbed these. Okay. Also, it says on the package, 20 grams of protein. 20 which is pretty ridic- pretty ridiculous for this little yeah. s- serving of chips. The whole bag is the serving. That's good because there's no way anybody's eating less than this <laughs> entire bag. That's for sure. Uh, one thing I don't like on the label is that it says three net grams of mm. carbs. So I have to kind of look at the, oh, that tells me I need bad. to dig into the nutrition but information before, a little Before bit. we dig in, is there any of those like, I know some of these like lower calorie high protein chips have some like chemicals in them where it's like, oh, you're by talking about way, sugar alcohols. Well, the, by the way, you might have to go to the restroom after I this think bag. That they, I think they banned that. Okay. You're thinking of those Lay's Wow Chips that were <laughs> yeah, out in the, so wild that the 90s. Wow, yeah. making a run for it. Right. So, I, no, this does not have, I think it was called Olestra. We're no, clear of that, right? This does not have any sugar alcohols, which bothers some people's stomach, and it doesn't have any Olestra. So, um, 140 calories okay. in this little bag. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, it's gluten-free, too. It's gluten-free because it's just a corn chip, I assume. Okay. Yeah. So right. let's let's Let taste a couple. It. Pass it down the line here. We're gonna have this on our fingers for the rest of the recording. That's for <laughs> sure. I think I said it's 140 cal- 140 calories in a bag for 20 grams of protein. So let's give these a try. What do you think of the color? First, like two. I'm looking at these. Do they look like a pretty normal? Looking it looks like a Dorito. Yeah. Chip Dorito. It does. Wow. Spicy. All right. So the texture does not taste like a regular it does not. corn chip. It's much more chewy. Yeah. It didn't break apart in my mouth. It's not flaky. There's yeah. a little bit of a funky aftertaste. Yeah. But I think they've put enough of this delicious delicious uh <laughs> chili flavor chili flavor to, over to it pull you. to cover any it shortcomings. It tastes like a fake chip covered in chili powder. Yeah. Chili lime powder. Yeah, if you're a bit, if you're really into chips because of like the crunch factor, this is not hitting that. Yeah, it is like a kind of melt in your mouth. Chip. Yeah, it's you, not, kind, you can kind of hear that we're not really crunching these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is yeah. the um? What's the fiber? Let me see that bag. I'll run some math on the numbers okay. here to make sure that it's Ooh, not yeah. completely off base. It's like a chalky. I don't. I don't like that. Yeah, All right, so it's like a chalkiness no in my mouth. Tostito. <laughs> Definitely no toastito. It is no Frito. <laughs> no uh, yeah, Fritos. Oh. So twenty grams of protein, four grams of carbs, <laughs> four and a half grams one. of fat. Yeah. And it only has one gram of fiber. So when they put that three net carbs on the front of the label, they did subtract that gram of fiber out of the four grams of carbs. But hey, what what's the difference between four grams of carbs and three grams of carbs? It's not much. So okay. there's not much monkey business going on with the nutrition facts on this. Mm. Okay. I would say all in all, this is not a gimmick at all. Does it taste that good? Not really, Not really, but it's a good substitute for somebody who wants to eat a 300 calorie bag of chips uh, that has zero protein in yeah. it. So I'm calling this a good snack, and I would recommend it to clients. Okay, ladies. I mean, yeah, this is one of those things that maybe <clears throat> it's a little healthier, but for me, I'm not really enjoying it because it doesn't taste to me like the texture of a chip and that's one of the reasons why i like chips is because of again i'm a texture person you know so i I don't yeah so i would rather eat i feel like well who wouldn't rather eat a tostito yeah that's true that's true but i guess again the thing is can i control and only eat like five tostitos or whatever Mm -hmm. serving size is yeah um for me it's it's not necessarily it's not a gimmick due to the nutritional value Mm -hmm. it's just something that i would not probably want to eat yeah. enjoy and i taste. don't think it's due to the flavor i think it's mainly the the texture i the agree texture. with sally i wouldn't i wouldn't buy those 
I would rather do a different type of snack or just have less chips because I want the texture of a chip. I didn't like the aftertaste and the after yeah. feel in my mouth of those. So you kind of agree. Not a gimmick, but you didn't like Not it. Not a gimmick, but I didn't like it. All right. I'm on board with that. All right. Okay. What's next, Sally? Okay. I'm going to go with my choice of the Keto Trail Mix. And what, what brand is that? This is Sunridge Farm farms well that just sounds healthy sun ridge farms <laughs> yeah. it all came healthy. on a farm and it's and it also says natural foods it's non-gmo uh, the fact that i picked it because it says keto i have so many uh friends in hong kong um on facebook who have who've done the keto diet i've seen people lose a lot of weight i've also you know thought about it but at the same time i'm like oh man i can't keep up with that kind of diet for the rest of my life um, so anyways, this so you got picked it up because you saw the word keto. keto mainly. And I, and I also think it looked pretty simple in the packaging. Yeah. It's got um, some nuts and as well. I also, oh yeah, I definitely picked it up because it has what appears to be chocolate in it. Which I <laughs> keto may, or may not have bought some chocolate ice cream from Bluebell <laughs> last night. Um, but well, let's, yes. So, why don't we why don't we see how much a portion of that trail mix is? I have a handy dandy okay. food scale here that will All right. Do show you us. Take this off or you... you can leave it on there. Okay, it's okay. All right, so we've zeroed out the food scale. A serving of this is a quarter cup or thirty grams. And pro tip to all you food loggers out there, if you're eating a really calorie dense food like trail mix or nuts, don't measure it with your measuring cup. Measure it with the food scale because oh, your eyes your eyes will lie to you as to okay. what a serving actually is. I would totally just use a measuring cup. So here we go. We are we're at twenty nine grams. We're at thirty grams. All right. So I'm gonna oh, hold I need this. To try it too. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold this up for the camera. Oh yeah. This is about the equivalent of a small, like palm size. I mean. Like your like cup, cup, your tan, cupped hand, yeah. like yeah, this would not be so overflowing. Not this would not be overflowing out of your cupped hand. <laughs> no way. If you're eating this with your hand out of the bag, this would be probably two mouthfuls uh-huh. of the keto trail mix. So yeah, uh, this is one of the things to watch for with these kinds of foods that come in these. Because there's a lot left in this bag really that I'm not supposed packages. to eat right now. <laughs> right. So. Uh, do you mind if I read the nutrition information no, real quick? No, I'm, I'm very curious if this is actual chocolate or it's some kind of carob thing going on in there. All right, well, I'm looking at the back of the uh, the packaging here, and we've got 170 calories in this little portion that I poured on this plate. So basically 170 calories per handful, okay? Um, I'll put it in my hand to see. Yeah, we, I don't think I want to eat it after it's been in your hand, but... No, you can pour some more in your plate. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you washed your hands? <laughs> Uh, so He's that, a little more a clean freak of the yeah. siblings. <laughs> so that handful of okay, keto trail this. mix has four grams of protein. It's a handful. Eight grams of carbs and 16 grams of fat. And I also brought my handy dandy calculator to the party to run some numbers. So 16 grams of fat. There's nine calories per gram of fat. That's 144 of the 170 calories that come from dietary fat. Ooh. So this is almost a pure fat Bad. snack, mm-hmm. which, okay. which is, is a- which doesn't necessarily make it bad, but it just shows you that in these kinds of foods that are easy to eat a lot of, <laughs> it's really easy to eat a lot of calories mm-hmm. of because it's so calorie dense and it's got, yes, ver- it does it. um, I do want you to taste that chocolate. Why don't you taste that chocolate before you taste anything else? And then I'll tell you what's in it. Okay. Yeah. That would be, so it basically looks like a little, uh, flat disc maybe the, the size wafer. of a penny yeah. yeah it's a nickel a nickel of fake chocolate so it's oh, called wait it's, hold on let me tell you what i think okay well it's called keto chocolate in the ingredients okay so it is actually melting better than i thought it would in my mouth it does taste like kind of like a dark chocolate okay so it's you, not, it's, sounds like you like it yeah it's not it's not too bad it's, it's a little more bitter for sure okay so it's basically made up of unsweetened chocolate sugar alcohol called erythritol that's the sweetener it's got some fiber added and then it's got cocoa butter soy lectin which is an emulsifier some stevia to sweeten it up a little bit more and then some vanilla yeah not too bad <clears throat> so i imagine it's pretty sweet with the sugar alcohol in there and then the rest of the mixture is just a bunch of nuts and some blueberries so blueberries, let's see what it tastes like okay. have you tried any of the nuts yet 
I'm wondering what those flakes this are. This is macadamia. Oh yeah, are, are there dried coconut flakes in here? It looks like for sure some coconut. Yeah. It tastes just like every other trail mix I've had, except less salty. So what makes it keto? Just that it's high fat, no, <clears throat> no carbs? Well, if you follow the ketogenic diet, diet, there's a maximum amount of total carbohydrates you can have per day. So I think it's just marketing that they put that word on the front because if you ended up eating this whole bag, which is six servings, you would have eaten 48 grams of carbs. Oh, so um, okay. there's really, there's nothing. One serving is how many grams of carbs? Eight. Eight, okay. Right. So there's nothing inherently keto about this food. Mm. I think they're just saying that if just, you're trying to keep your carbohydrates under a yeah. certain level, like 30 grams per day, one serving will not put you above that. But it's really just on there for marketing reasons, just like the word non-GMO Yeah. on the front. Okay. What do you think about it, Blakely? Did you try I it? I mean, yeah, it's not too flavorful or anything. I would, I would go for like another type of a nut mix if I was going, or like a trail mix. I wouldn't go for that brand. Yeah, it's not, n- not tons of flavor. It needs more salt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think the takeaway from these kinds of snacks is it's kind of like the, the Sargento balanced mm-hmm. meal. It's not that the food itself is a gimmick, mm-hmm. but it's kind of like one of those quote fake healthy foods that, um, you see nuts in it, you see raisins, that kind of stuff. You're like, Oh, it must be healthy. Cause those are healthy foods, but they're dangerous because they're so high in calories mm-hmm. that they can make you end up eating more calories than you need. So yeah. I guess I can't call it a gimmick, but I'm going to say Proceed with extreme trepidation. (laughs) Yeah. It's like you always need to have a food scale when it comes to certain types of snacks. And let's be real. 99% of people are going to sit down with that bag and eat half the bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sit. Yeah. Yeah. So. So that's three. If you ate half the bag, that would be three servings worth. Right. And how much, how many calories per serving? 170. 170 times three. That's 500 calories of trail mix. on a snack. You put 500 calories of trail mix on top of your regular diet and you will for sure be gaining fat on a weekly basis. Stick with the Sargento balanced breaks. <laughs> yeah, stay. yeah, at least they're portion controlled. That's, that's exactly. so true. I yeah. mean, I imagine there's companies who are doing that with trail mix now as well. Yeah, I've seen yeah. some yeah. individual packs at Trader Joe's. Okay. All right, sticking, All right, with, babe, the, what do we got? sticking with the snack theme, I've got, everybody knows the Skinny Pop brand, but I've got the Skinny Pop popcorn mini rice cakes, everything bagel um, flavoring. So what made you pick that bag You know, off I've never shelf? really tried any of the Skinny Pop products, and mm-hmm. obviously their marketing is like, this is a healthy you're going to be skinny if you eat this, this type of like this will skinny. keep you this will keep you skinny or i don't know what they're it will really keep or make you skinny get really going forward with the word skinny but saying the word skinny on it is <laughs> and well i think that there's this i remember growing up my mom having rice cakes in the house uh-huh. because it was a quote health food yeah um so i think there's this connotation that definitely that rice cakes are a healthy food we eat a lot of rice cakes. We do. On the day-to-day. Um, I mean, a serving of this is uh, is 20 rice cakes. So I was going to kind of see what that looked like on my plate real quick. Make sure it's You're gonna in weigh line it also? with the grams. How many grams did they say you get for uh, 20? 28 grams. All right. So that's I mean, actually. a decent size. So just for comparison, that's the exact same, very close, of si- the serving of the keto trail wow. mix. That okay. was 30 grams. So this is a good example of high volume. Okay, you want the bag? This is a high volume snack. I've got a ton of rice cakes on my on my plate right now, um, like basically more than two handfuls, I would say. Um, whether I mean, are you going to put anything on this, or is this going to be your only snack? That's one question. Uh, can you go over the nutrition? Yeah, let's see. Sixty calories per ten cakes. Oh, that's interesting. So hmm. a, a serving is twenty cakes, but the label on the front says sixty huh. calories per ten. Well, cakes. I mean, I can see you eating only ten cakes because yeah, the, but they, um, they put that sixty on yeah, the label the, like the these, are, these only have sixty yeah. calories. <laughs> I don't think you'd be very satisfied after eating only. I don't ten know. Of that's those. a lot. This is a lot of rice cakes on my plate. All right, so let's go over the nutrition. One hundred and twenty calories for for twenty eight grams. Three grams of protein, eighteen grams of carbs, and four and a half grams of fat. I wouldn't expect a rice product to have much protein. I'm actually a little bit surprised that it even has hmm. three grams what of protein. What are the ingredients? And I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it has four and a half grams of fat because popcorn corn doesn't naturally have a lot of fat content in it. So, the oil, yeah. Yes. So first ingredient is popcorn, not surprisingly. Second ingredient is sunflower oil. 
Then we got salt, garlic, onion, mm -hmm. poppy seeds, and spices. So right. I think 99% of people would call this like a clean food because there's not a lot of weird things yeah. that you don't understand or can't pronounce. These are everything bagel flavored. I think they're tasty. Let's try it. Good texture. Oh. That does taste good. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I think if I wanted, if I was craving like a, like a dry type of crunchy snack, this is a lot of volume. I'd be happy with this. Would you be happy with that ser that serving size? Yeah, this I is a great it's... serving size. I might. That's a good serving size. I might be full it after fit, this. It would <laughs> fit a lunch baggie. Mm -hmm. um, man, the texture is right on, and then yeah, it's a good mixture of salt, garlic. There's a lot of garlic. There's yeah, a lot of garlic. The flavoring You're is great. Brush your teeth or eat some gum after you eat the snack. Um, but definitely feeling like it's satisfying for sure. Yeah. I, I, it's a, it's One, a good. 120 for 20 cakes, 20 pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I, as far as calories, I feel like that's a pretty good. Pretty good bargain. Pretty good bargain. All right. I would, I would, I would have these as a snack. What do you think? I think I'm, I'm going to eat another one. What do you think I'm going to say? Go ahead. <laughs> say it. <laughs> He's like, go grab a piece of fruit. That's what you're going to say. <laughs> I, okay. The, the things that I worry about with this is that even though it's a decent serving size mm -hmm. for how many calories it has, this comes in a really big bag. Yeah. <clears throat> would, you got you to be able to. I, mean, it I would be happier count. if it came in single serving <laughs> bags just I, for. Okay. I like it's that. It's very it's highly palatable. It would be very easy to eat a lot of these because they're not going to fill you up either because they're basically like eating air. No, but if it, if it only told you like 28 grams per serving, you would have no idea what that looked like. It tells you 20 pieces. Yeah. I think that's good. I think that's okay. You can count out 20 pieces on your napkin at work if you had this bag in your drawer and and. But you use self control and eat the twenty pieces. Yeah, you, right. again, you got to have some self control. Yeah, we have with to, everything. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. You're right. And I would like, rather you <laughs> if you have less self control. I would rather you be eating these than the trail mix. Yeah, yeah. Which is much more calorie dense, like definitely. per handful. Definitely. All right. So that's a good yeah. one. So you don't. I'm not going to squirt a fire hose on this one too bad. I'll just say. Say it's good. Careful ca again. It tastes good. Be careful with the serving size and do not consider this as any contribution to your daily protein. It's no. almost purely a yeah. uh, carb and fat source. Exactly. No. Pr okay. Good to know. Okay. All right. All right. Moving on to another highly palatable, delicious thing. <laughs> I picked up this box of Kellogg's I mean, Special K cereal. <laughs> protein cereal. You know, back in my day, <laughs> back in my day, I would, after dinner, I don't even remember if I was hungry or not, go pour me a bowl of cereal and I would eat it until the cereal was gone. And if there was milk left, I would refill it again. And of then course. I mean, I would do that. What a, at least what a waste of milk. Otherwise. Maybe three times until the milk was gone. Yeah. Can I um, tell, can I tell the story of when we were kids, our love for cereal was so strong and the violent arguments about who finished cereal boxes would get so heated that our mother would end up buying two cereal boxes of Lucky Charms and write our names with a Sharpie on it because we couldn't control. I don't even remember that. I blocked it out. Yeah, we were in a sugar coma. <laughs> okay, I need the food scale because right. I want to see what a serving of this Special K protein cereal is. So the reason I picked it up is because it says protein on the label. It's with, it's designed, what does it say? Designed to fuel you with magnesium, calcium, and vitamin D. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a superfood already. I mean, when I hear Special K growing up too, I'm like, well, if I'm not picking Lucky Charms and Frosted Mini Wheats, I eat Special K. I'm automatically healthy. Yeah, I think the commercials probably have people doing jumping jacks or calisthenics at a minimum. At like 85 years old. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one thing about cereal is the, con the serving sizes are super confusing. Mm -hmm. A serving size on the box is one and a third cups, 59 grams. And then they they divide the nutrition information up into two categories, cereal or three quarters of a cup of cereal with skim milk. Huh. So why are they telling me that <laughs> a serving size is three quarters of a cup plus milk if a serving size on the box is one, one and a one third, third cup at 59 grams? And how do they know how much your milk is? Like, there's I guess they're just averaging the average skim milk. Yeah, most skim milk's about the same, but... I'm going to weigh out 59 grams, the one and one third cup, right. and I'm going to assume it's the ca the column on the left that says it's 210 calories. 
So 59 grams. I should have done this in a bowl because I never served myself cereal on a plate to know <laughs> if this is going to look like a real portion or not. It smells good. I think it's the cinnamon flavored protein I cereal. Because I got popcorn stuck in my mouth like crazy. You, you, what do you want? What is the cereal going to do for you? I don't know. I need something you? to wash it down with. You're going to wash it down dry with dry cereal? cereal? It's, it's like a, uh, a warning to those pop cakes. It's like eating popcorn. All right, I've got so like kernels first. stuck everywhere. Here is a serving, a serving of Special K okay. protein oh, man. cereal. That definitely is it, not. If that was in a bowl, it would be pretty yeah. sad. It is. It would be, that's milk. maybe a half a bowl. Picture like a bowl from the 50s before we started making bowls real big. And that's what it looks like. But I tell you what, it smells pretty good. Yeah. So what did we say? 210 calories for this. What's the flavor again? Cinnamon oat oh. or something like it. Cinnamon cluster. All right, here, well, let's taste it. Multigrain taste touch it. of cinnamon. And then we'll dig into the nutrition more. Um, mm. I taste the cinnamon. Yeah. Where's the sugar? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I one of my favorite cereals is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which I have gotten in the last visit now to America. And this is definitely not tasting as tasty as Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> I would think that would be to, to be expected. I like of, it. I think it's it's pretty light flavored. If you don't have Good a crunch. real sweet tooth, yeah, you would probably think this is sweet. There's a little bit of sweetness to a it. A little, but there not is a much. little bit. And I and again, the, for me, I think this is a cereal that will hold up in some milk because it's pretty crunchy. Yeah, it is. It is yeah. a, it's a stout cereal. Yeah, it's, it's got it's got some <laughs> structure to cereal. it. Okay, let's look at the nutrition I like the information. Possibly made of cardboard, but <laughs> okay. So the label says it does have 15 grams of protein. For that 15 grams of protein, you have to bring along 39 grams of carbs and only one and a half grams of fat. So that since this is mostly a grain product, that's why it's got so many carbs in it. So let's look at the ingredients and see where they're getting all this protein from. Whole wheat, rice, wheat gluten, sugar. Soy protein, aha, uh -huh. soy protein isolate. That was number what, five? Wheat, um, yeah, that was number five. Soy protein isolate, wheat bran, and then a bunch of other stuff to make it taste like something. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tell so, me about soy protein, John. Soy protein is a good source of protein from a vegetarian source. Uh, soy and pea would be our number one recommendations if you're a vegetarian trying to supplement your protein intake. <clears throat> so that's a solid... That's a solid choice of protein. I don't know if it was the combination of the rice cake and then the cereal, but my mouth is dry. I'm like choking over here. <laughs> yeah, you better take something over there and wash I got it down. Some, I got some water here. <laughs> um, so 210 grams of protein, uh, 210 calories for 15 grams of protein. You know, if you were a cereal junkie, mm -hmm. I think this is a good option. You just have to, mm -hmm. as with everything that comes in a box like this, be mindful of the portions. I'm looking forward to finishing the box. Yeah, we own it now. So I'm going to call this good. Proceed with moderate trepidation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that's, it's interesting because people are so different when it comes to portion control. And I, I definitely think for me, if I was trying to watch my portions when it comes to cereal like that, that serving size would leave me like, I don't know, I, I might. It would be very hard for me to control just eating that amount of cereal. Whereas this amount of nuts for that. Feel like i wouldn't be like i gotta eat especially because it didn't taste that good mm -hmm. yeah. those nuts <laughs> yeah okay Anyways. so but let me put it to you this way if you are somebody who wants to still continue to eat, some cereal. eat cereal in your life like if you're gonna overeat a cereal mm -hmm. at least you're getting the benefit of the protein versus mm -hmm. you know i think a serving of cinnamon toast crunch probably has three grams of protein in it versus the 15 and, and since it doesn't taste as good as the cinnamon toast crunch you might be less likely That's, to yeah. eat yeah. Very two or three true. servings very yeah. true what do you think blake you calling it gimmick or good i liked it all right she said she's looking forward to finishing the box so that's that <laughs> all right all what right. do you got sally all right so this is my last i saved the best for last this is called drizzlicious brand <laughs> I, would have all, I would have never picked that, this bag up. <laughs> that alone is so intriguing to me. Drizzleicious. Yeah, what drew you to that? Drizzleicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, anything icious at the end. Show like. the show the camera the label. <laughs> all right. 
All right. So it, says also, birth- it also says birthday cake on okay. it. Yeah. That was, a, I mean, that's probably the first thing. The first thing I saw that I was drawn to is birthday cake bites because I have a huge sweet tooth like the chocolate and, and cake. And we were talking about cakes, our favorite cakes. Birthday cake is like one of my favorite things uh, to eat. So then this is says mini rice cakes reimagined as birthday cake bites. Um, Drizzlelicious, the irresistible, better for you snack. So Ooh. it's a birthday cake that is going to make me better. And only, much. only 90 calories per and 21 then, grams. Yeah, it says here only 90 calories per 21 pieces. Here at the bottom. Okay, and then yes, in uh, at the end, in big words, it says it's with chia, quinoa, and flax. Mm-hmm. So even though it looks like there's icing on these mini cakes, <laughs> rice cakes, they also are going to be having chia, quinoa, and flax, mm-hmm. which is super healthy. And also in tiny words, it says product image enlarged to show texture. <laughs> John's going to rip this one apart. There's a lot of buzzwords on that label. Yes, this thing's got all the it's buzzwords. loaded with all the buzzwords. And man, this whole bag is so light. This yeah. thing weighs like a quarter of a pound for this entire bag. They, al- they also make a point to say that the image size on the on the front is is enlarged. Yeah, because they look like they're gonna be like rice cakes about this size. And then if you're, the, the if serving you're li- size. If you're says, listening, that she held up about the size of. Oh yeah. Like a like, silver dollar. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so a serving size is 21 grams. So let's see what that looks like in How real life. How many servings are in this box? One second. Light air back. They are tiny. Oh, I already went way over. They're so tiny. I see no icing. And they don't look anything like the picture on the front. They stink too. There's no Ugh. there's no pretty icing that I can hardly like see. Let's taste on these. let's taste these things. And this one looks like it has icing on it, so I'm gonna no, it taste it. It says I can oh, on the bag I can indulge guiltlessly. Oh indulge. Meaning right. I can eat as many as I want of these. Well let's indulge. Alright. There goes one. I tell you what, the this icing one, does taste nothing. good. All right, I got, I got a, that icing. <laughs> it's invisible icing. It's good. The invisible icing is definitely hooking me in because these things are sweet mm-hmm. and they are crunchy. It's yeah. a good combo in my mouth. But have you smelled them? They, they smell don't terrible. They smell good. They smell terrible. Right. Yeah, I'm not smelling them. <laughs> not smell one. They don't oh. smell. Oh, yeah. I mean, it kind of smells That's like a chia. rice cake. That's the chia. The chia, yeah. All Some, the healthy something. stuff stinks. And then the sugar is what tastes good. All right, I'm looking. What do you think of the taste? Mine had zero icing. It was just like a big puff ball. That's all you took is a you need to, You need to try another one. Yeah. All right, so what did you think of the serving size when we poured it out on that's the plate? It. Oh, that's I forgot the, to show it to the camera. That's the serving size? Oh, yeah. You there was about four more on here. If you're wondering Those what a white, service. the white pops, yeah, ignore, such a ignore the special K and the <laughs> and you're going to show them later about measuring on wit scale because people are probably like he's adding everything on right, there. Right, no, wait for that. <laughs> I think the serving size looked pretty pathetic. And yeah, as, I would and say as, it was probably mm, a handful and a half. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty small. Pretty small. Pretty small serving. I would definitely be able to eat. I probably would sit down, open that bag, and eat like. Three servings. Yeah, this serving, this bag is five servings. So one more. If uh, if you ate this entire bag, you'd have four hundred and fifty calories. If you ate three servings, you would have two hundred and seventy calories. Um, this is the size of the bag. It's about this full. Are you noticing it? Like here, this full. Yeah. <laughs> Nutritionally, it's got one gram of protein, fifteen grams of carbs, and three grams of fat, and uh, four grams of those carbohydrates come from added sugars. Mm. As far as ingredients goes, it's it's rice, it's tapioca starch, it's corn flour, and then all those buzzword ingredients on the front, some oil, some sugar, some salt, and then whatever uh, they make that magic icing out of. I tell you what, though, the back of this package is riddled with buzzwords, with buzzwords and paraphernalia. Everything from <laughs> made with renewable energy to allergen free, to uh, solves global warming, to uh, <laughs> you can run your car on it. So it is if you're Saving somebody the whales who's by eating this. if you're somebody who's easily swayed by buzzwords, this will definitely mm-hmm. it's suck made in you America. in. America. Um, I would say this is a complete gimmick and way too over easy to overeat, and has nothing to do with a food that will contribute to an overall healthy diet. <laughs> Was I unclear? <laughs> 
<laughs> and to be honest, there's no drizzle. Right. There's no drizzle on these. I mean, I, there's like it some looks. Of some of them like are drizzled. <laughs> one green little speck on these. I, I it's. It was enough. The ones I ate, it was enough to make me want to have another one yeah. for sure. There's some there's some sweet sugar on there. I wouldn't buy this package. Yeah. I don't like I don't like the look. I mean, it's it's a it looks fake. The Drizzlelicious. I've never heard of Drizzlelicious brand. It's kind of brown. I've never heard of it. Like I wouldn't be attracted to the brownness the of this bag. Like they could have made it prettier in this Drizzlelicious being a different font to to sway you. But, but the buzzwords are all there. I, if, the, yeah. if they could team up with the the folks over at Alani Fit Snacks and yeah, work on their exactly. packaging and branding, they could have sucked in a lot more people. Agree. So I yes. said it's a gimmick. What do y'all say? I say it's nutritionally. Same thing. Yeah, definitely a gimmick, and I'm a little annoyed by even <laughs> the fact that it's saying indulge guiltlessly because I'm just like there's there's a lot of guilt. In there's there. a lot of that's a there's bag a lot of guilt because you can't. Yeah. Not good. <laughs> All right, we got one more, Blake. All right, best for last. Best for last. She this says this is a kind bar frozen snack found like with the ice creams in the frozen section, and th- that's the reason I bought this is because I've never seen it before. We think of kind bars, we find them in like the healthy protein bar section. So to me, like seeing this in the freezer section near the ice creams, I'm like, oh, this is a on that healthy side of like a frozen snack. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what this is. Jonathan says it's not going to be frozen. It's just going to be like No, a, I didn't say it's not going to be frozen. Well, I think it is literally a frozen out. kind bar. Like a frozen you, kind you bar. Could, you could do it yourself if you have a freezer <laughs> and you know where to find the There's kind bar. There's a reason bars. they're in the, the freezer I bet, section. I bet though. these were twice the cost of a um, regular kind bar. So, I mean, he's right. There is there is no like ice cream product in it. It literally looks like it's just a frozen kind bar. So, like the kind bars, 180 calories, 14 fat, 16 carbs, three protein. So, kind bars are primarily nuts. So, we know they're going to be a higher fat snack to begin with. Mm. Um, here, do you want to see the packaging? It, it looks different. Why do you have to keep this deep frozen like it says on the package is what I'm wondering. <clears throat> yeah. I want, to, I want to point out that from a nutritional standpoint, at 14 grams of fat, 126 of the 180 calories come from fat. If these are with the if these are with the the protein bars, mm-hmm. then it's masquerading as a protein bar. This is a this is a fat bar. It's a fat bar. Yeah. Deep deep frozen. Do we have a deep freeze? I don't think we have a deep freeze. <laughs> we regular froze happen. them. We regular but, froze them. I mean, I'm looking Although at it. There's no ice cream in them. We deep froze them. The, yeah. When you open it, there looks to be like something like an ice cream texture. Well, I'm just it's gonna not have a, a bite of yours. Kind bar. So. Pass that down after you take your bite. What? No, no, I just, no. Have your own. See, I don't want to eat that whole thing. Look at this. Well, you really went into that thing. I, it's, it's a frozen treat. It's a frozen treat? I would hope so. Oh. It's pretty good. There's like... There's some there, ice cream or something some in there. There's some kind of ice cream-ish They've done product. Some, open, your, here, open your bar. I'm not sharing this. <laughs> it's got added fiber. It's got That's a tasty oil, fat treat. Tapioca <laughs> syrup, peanut oil, cocoa butter, palm oil. There's a lot of fat sources. It, in this it, it's thing. it's familiar to me. It tastes like something else. I mean, it tastes like nothing like a kind bar. To me, a kind bar is like kind of get stuck in your teeth. Like you have to like pull them off. It doesn't have that texture. Yeah, it exploded in my mouth like an ice cream bar. <laughs> mm-hmm. It doesn't taste. These are really good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Flavor wise, but, but I'm like, what's the difference? Like, should I not eat bluebell instead? Eat this because nutritionally, this is the exact same thing as eating ice cream. It's, but again, you. it's a controlled um, serving size. You're going to have 180 calories, one serving. You're not going to be tempted if you open a carton, even the pints of Bluebell. Like you open that one, it was three servings in one. You know, it's, it's hard, it's hard to stop yourself. A so a treat like this, if you're craving something at night, like it's better to have something at least portion controlled. But That keeps coming up. <laughs> What's to stop somebody from opening two of these? Oh. How many are in a box? Um, is it bad if I finish this? <laughs> it's 180 calories. <laughs> I would say the flavor's there. It's good. I mean, there's nothing yeah. on the package not- that alludes to the fact that it's, quote, it, healthy. It's just the brand. Other than the fact that it says plant-based ingredients you can see and pronounce. Yeah. They, tra- they trademark that. Well, it's, and- the, it's the Kind Bar brand. It's like you like you said, if, if Lar Bar had a frozen treat, if RX Bar had a frozen treat, you would associate that with... Oh, these are the protein bars I eat. This must be a, like a healthier 
Program. Ice cream okay. type snack. That's so, where, that's where we're going with this. All right. So after saying that, is this a gimmick or is this good? It's not. Based it's on it's that a assumption. gimmick for being. It's not. It's not a healthy mm -hmm. snack. Yep. <laughs> the only benefit of having something like this is if you have to have a frozen type of treat, it's a portion controlled serving. But there's no reason. Kind Bar didn't even have to be on the label. It's not a protein or a healthy <laughs> snack. Right. <laughs> it's not necessarily kind to eat for your body. <laughs> like I just ate the whole thing. So, and that's the problem with these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. It's it's hard to portion control. And, yeah. the, and even eating one at a 180 calorie, high fat, high yeah. carb snack is a dangerous thing. Dangerous for, road for most to go people. down. If you're really, yeah, if you're really trying to eat healthy. And or if you're just not you're trying, trying not to gain fat. Yeah, not fat. to gain fat. Gain fat, right. Right. But I, I would say, I don't know if it's because we've had quite a few snacks or whatever. I don't know. It definitely, like, I wouldn't. I love sugar, sna sugary snacks, but after one, I'm like, ooh, I'm done. You're, yeah. ready, you're ready for a piece I'm, of trail mix? I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not ready for any more snacks after that one because it was very, very, very rich. It was so, and in rich. most cases, yeah. even with a protein bar, it might be delicious. Like, RX bar is delicious, but where are the, when are the chances you ever open two? Most True. people would never open a second, uh, like, pre-portioned wrap snack. So I do think that's the only benefit of, that's a good of point. these type of things. Is you're not going to go back into the freezer and get a second one. Yeah. Most, Most people would not. Most cases, yeah. Yeah. All right. But. So I think we all agree. It's it's an ice cream bar. <laughs> it's an, an ice cream. cream bar. I think, again, if you're thinking of a kind brand, and then, again, a lot of bars are out there. I mean, that's one thing I was hit with when I went into the grocery store uh, here in the U.S. and just how that aisle of bars is huge and you think all of these bars must be healthy because mm -hmm. they're in a bar form, hence why they're putting the kind into now the freezer section yeah. so more people will buy them. Right. But it's not like Jonathan's showing us, if you don't look at the running the numbers and look at the package, then you don't know if this is actually what you think yeah. you're getting. You're right. So any closing thoughts, anybody? I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> if we're thinking of this as a snack that's going to lead towards me losing weight, it's a gimmick. Yeah, uh, if, if almost. I, yeah, you could say that about a lot but of the I, things. Again, on this if table. I am if I'm really wanting something that's like an ice cream treat and it's portion controlled, I this think might I be would an option that I could go for. Mm -hmm. But I definitely would be like not getting, not buying these like every week. Yeah, I would say that. You know, going with something more like a 30 or 50 calorie frozen popsicle is a much mm, better uh, choice. Is a better choice mm -hmm. for most people if they are trying to watch their calories. Right. Or just some frozen fruit mixed into some Greek yogurt yeah. or cottage cheese or some protein pudding mm -hmm. with some frozen fruit. Um, gives you a, those every day. Yeah. Gives you a little bit <laughs> of the same thing without yeah. as many calories. So. And it just takes yeah. a few serve you know a few times to eat something like that to kind of get out of the habit of reaching for yeah. the ice cream get into the better habit and start to acquire that taste that's right so that's so true yep mm -hmm. it's all about the habits it is well this is fun yeah, all right, yeah. I did this, this was a lot of fun thanks for oh, joining really us cool. sally the inaugural <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for letting me join this session of your podcast it's, it's our my pleasure. first podcast <laughs> hopefully not your last <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we thank you for tuning in to this episode of Gimmick or Good. We will check you guys out next week. 